bodybuilders take an IQ test. Are bodybuilders dumber than regular people? What do you think? We're regular. <laughs> we're not regular. Today we're gonna put. Is the average bodybuilder as smart as the average person? I would say yes. Oof, maybe not. Yeah, no, I'm gonna say yeah, because I there, there's probably a lot of there's probably a lot of bodybuilders that are like mad smart, but there's also probably a lot that are fucking idiots. Put these fellas through a series of tests to rank them by intelligence. Then we'll use their IQ scores to see how our rankings hold up. Here we go! Ah! This guy's gone. We got a savant in here. I think he's sleeper smart. Whoa, 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 whoa! Have fun. We got this. All right, so to help me rank these bodybuilders, we have Tyler. Woo! And my trainer, Alex. <laughs> You just dab in 2023. So we're gonna have four rounds to try to rank these guys based on intelligence. And after each round, we'll have to eliminate the guy we think has the lowest IQ. And oh my God. Nah, imagine being the one guy, dude. And one of these guys is the a genius. First one out. Genius. Genius level IQ. All right, guys, we're starting round one. Can you guys just go to the line and tell us your name if you think you have a high or low IQ and if you think the stereotype is true? Hello, my name is Caden, and the stereotype about bodybuilders being dumb, probably on average, is he sounds smart. Probably somewhat true. I think my IQ is above average. My name is Weam. Just because you work out your body. His doesn't name is Weam. Mean that you don't read or you don't better yourself in certain aspects. That guy's dumb as fuck. <laughs> I think I'm pretty average. He wore glasses, a white shirt, and khaki pants with long socks to make himself look smart. I think he's trying to give off smart vibes. What's up? My name is Chris, and I think that the stereotype is not true. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't expect Chris to sound like that. I did yeah. not either, bro. I would say that my IQ is like average, maybe slightly above average. Hi, I'm Rashad, and the uh, stereotype about bodybuilders being dumb, I think it's not true. Anyone who is in the fitness industry who doesn't admit that most bodybuilders are dumb is probably quite insecure. <laughs> I'm Andrew Walker. Bodybuilders do make dumb decisions, but that's not indicative always of a dumb. Well, I mean, you do have to be smart to be able to build your, your muscle that efficiently, right? To be able to track all that stuff, like you have to have some sort of knowledge. Uh, but I would say, yeah, maybe a lot of, a lot of not as smart people may be gravitating towards physical fitness as a way to make themselves more appealing person vindictive what a word what's up guys i'm fit flash my iq i'd say i'm probably right there with rain man pretty high i think he's gonna get out first i i think i think he's gonna be out first but he just said he's like rain man level smart nah i don't know about that oh no 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 i'm beans i'm dumb as rocks <laughs> and stereotypes aren't real okay you know you're in there as the referee and not one of the bodybuilders yes i am a bodybuilder you're a referee not a bodybuilder yeah since the first round is based off of stereotypes we're gonna eliminate someone purely based off of first impressions and looks to be oh well that's fucked up Honest, I don't really trust myself with this decision. I think it's Caden, bro. Look at the way he stares off into space. Theoretically. Nah, he's definitely smart. The biggest guy in the room right now. The way he was talking about it. Is the dumbest. Yeah, probably Caden or Flash. Well, I'm telling you, Caden has a below average IQ. Okay, do we want do we want to lock in Caden? Caden better not find you. I don't want to get beat up after this in the alley, so maybe you do it instead of me. Hey, hey guys. guys, this is tough for us. Caden. We think you have the lowest IQ. <laughs> oh, that, that's so mean. Oh, my God. You're just standing in a... Bro, I'm actually going to go the guy with the fucking khaki shorts and glasses. Like, he definitely was like, how do I make myself look smart? I feel bad, too. I think uh, the decisions are made based on looks. It means the stereotype might be wrong. We'll uh, see. Kaden, I'm sorry. Dude, honestly, I think he might be the smartest one. Bro. What? I actually don't trust what we just did very much to decide. We are dumb. Dumb guys. All right, on to round two. So for the next round, we got a 225 barbell, and each bodybuilder will do as many reps as they can. Let's go, Chris. If the stereotype is true, the more reps they do, the dumber they should be. Let's go, Rizzo. Bro, this is so fucking stupid that they're doing. I thought they would make them do, like, actual fucking eye intelligence-based tests. They're just making them lift weights and be like, okay, you lift more, you're dumb. He's a big boy. Here we go. One, baby! Let's go, Walker. This guy's big and potentially dumb as free. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Yeah! Damn, buddy, struggling on 225? I think I, I think I could rep 225 for five. Ah! And he's like five times as big as me. Ah! 
I was worried that these guys were gonna say. I don't think Bean will be able to rep that one time. I think that will. I think it'll collapse under his fucking arms, and he will break his fucking rib cage. And bag, and basically do less reps in order to look smarter. But then I realized if you get a bunch of giant ripped guys in a room, there's no way they don't do the most reps that you possibly can. Come on. Uh, 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 how are they only repping 225 for six? I like, I'm astonished by that. Okay, see, yeah, that's more realistic. Yeah, 20 fucking pounding them out. Pounding them out. Twenty nine reps at two twenty five. Yo, his max bench is probably like fucking five hundred pounds. Quick shout for the merch here before we get into the video. Oh, hold up, hold up. Oh my God, Joe Barlozzi made new merch. Who would have guessed it? Click the link in the description to get some. We have T-shirts of all different colors. We have them in black, gray, white. We have we have beanies in black and white. We have hoodies. We have crew necks. Oh my God, go check it out, please. We also have windbreakers. Forgot to say, extra small to 2XL and I believe every single piece of clothing that we're offering, reasonable prices and great quality. It's a pre-order and limited time only, so go check that out or else you're gonna miss out on your chance to get it and you're gonna have to wait to the next drop. And that might not be for what? Six months. So you wanna go check it out now. Go now, now, now. Go check it out, link in description, bye. Ah. Ah. Where is he getting these shirts? <laughs> How does he keep catching them so well? Beans, I think you should try. Oh no, oh no. Don't let go of the bar. Do not let go of the bar. He will die. He will die. Let go! Give us one! Let's go, Beans! Yo, he actually repped that shit. No fucking way. Let's go, Give us one. Let's go I mean, they were holding it, but they weren't really helping. That's insane. I, 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 I don't understand how he just fucking repped that, bro. He probably was like 100 pounds. Okay, so what do we think here, boys? Theoretically, the bodybuilder who can do the most reps is the least intelligent. For the smartest people, I think it's between Chris and Rashad. I really actually believe Walker might be the smartest oh, guy. Oh, man. I think, he's a, I think he's sleeper smart. I think Weeum, bro. Why is Weeum still in? Uh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, scratch Weeum. Get him out of here. Oh, my God. I'm going for the middle of the road. Sorry, Rashad. Oh. What? Oh, my God. That's Sorry. That's not what we agreed oh, wait, on. Wait, wait, wait. My bad. My bad. It's my done. Bad. It's done. It's done. We can't take a pass. Oh, we didn't say Rashad. We said Weeum. I feel terrible right now. I feel terrible. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> How did he say Weeum? <laughs> <laughs> the reason why oh I'm smiling God. is he didn't no one agreed on that they were like yeah we think he's the smartest yeah sorry Rashad you gotta get out of here man because I feel so terrible I'm so sorry dude Beans is holding up something to the glass Beans equals bodybuilder all right guys for round three we're finally diving into some mental tests Beans bring out the cubes Beans is giving each of you guys a Rubik's cube oh but I I don't think solving a Rubik's cube makes you smart you have to know the 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 fucking patterns or not the patterns the fucking algorithms like i've solved rubik's cubes before you you have to fucking you have to you, it's not how smart you are it's knowing i have to turn it this way right you have to tell somebody how to do it and then they'll do it cube that has been mixed up in the exact being a good rubik's cuber doesn't make you smart and not in being a bad rubik's cuber doesn't make you dumb same way you have five minutes to solve as much of it as you can your time starts right now so i do know that white has to go first you have to get the white one first if x equals y he has no idea what he just said if x equals y oh my god while they're doing this alex i wanted to ask you where do you think this stereotype comes from it pains me deeply but it's pretty true i really think that arnold schwarzenegger played a huge role into this stereotype because even though he's not dumb at all and he's incredibly intelligent basically it, it was easy to call someone dumb because they couldn't speak english at that point do we have a rubik's cube for beans by chance yeah yeah sure <laughs> you think i need that i'm dumb as rocks beans and i went to high school together i think this guy has gotten dumber his brain is rotting as we speak 
Dude, beans. He just keeps breaking the cube. Beans, you f idiot. I think my Rubik's Cube had more matches when I started. Whoa, 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 wait, Walker, Walker actually is close. He's very close, yeah. So curious looking at bodybuilders focus on something with such intensity. All right, five, four, three. Dude, it looks like none of them got even close to solving it. Two, one. I don't think they made any progress. Time is up, cubes down. So none of them actually solved the Rubik's Nobody cube. solved it. All right, here's the results. 54 squares need to be in the correct order. Starting with seven. Flash. Flash. Next, we have nine. Walker. I love Walker. Walker's dumb. No, he's not. Next, we have, with 11 correct squares, William. And with 23 correct squares, we have Chris. Wow. Yes. But here's the thing. Having more squares in a Rubik's Cube doesn't mean you're closer to solving it. Like, if you know how to solve a Rubik's Cube, what do I mean by that is you have to have all of them set up in a certain way to where you finish it in, like, a span of three moves and they all come together. But, like, I've solved Rubik's Cubes. You can have three sides completely solved and you'll never be able to finish the other three sides unless you restart or just fucking... Because there's so many different ways that it can align that you having one side completely solved can mean absolutely fucking nothing. Like, you're just going to have to re-scramble uh, it up to be able to move everything over. This pass every test with blind colors. Yeah, absolutely. All right, we're going to deliberate. I think Walker is smart. My money's on Chris, buddy. Yeah. Walker's dumb, bro. Walker's dumb. Walker's you think dumb. Walker? Walker, bro. Walker. Walker's dumb, bro. All right, guys. Since we can't eliminate beans, we have to eliminate somebody else. I'm going to be honest. I got outvoted on this one, so don't beat me up in the alley. I think you're maybe number one. The person we've chosen to eliminate is... Walker. <laughs> Starts charging the cameraman. Walker, what happened out there, man? I don't think it has anything to do with intelligence. I know there's little kids that can do it because it's patterns and it's memorization, which is like one part of an IQ test. So we'll see. Damn it. Now I feel bad. Let's give it up for Walker. It's patterns, which is part of an IQ test. And rec yeah, and in recognition of patterns is another thing. But dude, the guy that invented the Rubik's Cube couldn't solve it for like weeks or some shit i remember reading a story about that like if you've never touched a rubik's cube it doesn't you could be fucking albert einstein you're not gonna be able to fucking solve that shit way to measure intelligence, intelligence. yeah and i don't think there's anything good or bad about having a higher low iq i just think it's an interesting myth to debunk guys this is the final round and for this round we're gonna be hosting a classic game of are you smarter and a fifth grader this is all stuff that can be found in elementary school textbooks. If you get three questions wrong, you're That's out. That's still not intelligence quota. It's still, or intelligence whatever. It's still not IQ. Like your IQ isn't book smarts. How many continents are there on Earth? Seven. Seven. That is correct. We, um, what is the largest ocean in the world? The Atlantic. World. Pacific. Correct. I would not know the answer. Really? To really? The record, you no. didn't know that? I knew it was Atlantic or Pacific. I didn't fucking know. Dumb when. guy. You found a way to get 14 and a half million subscribers. You don't know. I think it requires being dumb to do that. Chris, how many legs does a spider typically have? Eight. <laughs> Eight. Correct. Flash, what is the capital of California? Sacramento. In which I wouldn't know that, but they are also in California. Sure, did Christopher Columbus first arrive in the Americas? In in 1400, 1492, 1492. What year did in in something blue something something Christopher sailed the blue? 1480, 1492. Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue. I think it's 1492. Because damn. I have no idea. Same for you, Chris. 1492. Nice! Yup! That's not intelligence quota, though. See, like that had... Or, or, I, I keep saying quota. I don't know if it's... Uh, what does it actually stand for? Intelligence quotient. I said quota. Longest river in the United States. Longest river in the United States. Mississippi. States. Mississippi. It is the Missouri River. Fuck. Really? What is the main gas responsible for making stars shine? I understand.
Well, I don't know. Correct. What I is didn't know. the name of the largest planet in our solar system? Jupiter. No clue. Nah, it's not Jupiter. Is it Jupiter? Venus. Oh, bro. Uh, way off. It is Jupiter. Who's the 40? I know my I know my planets. I know my planets. Second president of the United States. No. Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe. Donald Trump. Adams. Oh, I thought it said second. 40 seconds. Flash, you have one life left. How I wouldn't know that. How many planets are there in our solar system? Nine. Pluto is not a planet. It is eight. William, you have one life left. Chris, what's the capital of Texas? Dallas. This is sudden death right now. Yes. Everyone's down to one life. Flash, who wrote the Gettysburg Address? Did Abe Lincoln write it or he gave it? I know he gave it. Abraham Lincoln. Who painted, who painted the Mona Lisa? Vincent Van Gogh. Did the Mona Lisa? Picasso. Incorrect. Leonardo da Vinci. Yo, I'm 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 getting miss after miss here. William, you're out of here, man. Okay. How many branches are there in the U.S. government? Three. What is the process of plants making their own food using sunlight cold? Photosynthesis. What is the opposite of horizontal? Vertical. How many time zones are there in the continental the United States? I got this shit. You got Eastern. You got Western. You got Central. You got Mountain. There's four or five. I'm gonna go four. Three. Incorrect. Chris, if you can answer this question correctly, you will be, in our professional opinion, the smartest bodybuilder in the room. Four. Four time zones in the continental US. Correct. Come on, Chris. Oh, yeah, that was a part of the question. It's five if you include Hawaii. Congrats, man. Five in the US. On our rigorous system, Chris should be the genius in the room. All right, let's bring everybody. Oh, now they're actually going to fucking show their IQs. Back in. Now for context, 100 is the average IQ score. I feel like we might have been like pretty close. All right, guys, we're going to start. Imagine taking an IQ test and getting like a fucking 60. With Caden. Oh! oh shit. So 129 is in the gifted territory. He's yeah. very smart. Rashad. Boom. 89. Oh. All right. All right, Alex, good call. I feel like sub 100 is not good. Whoa! 136. Oh, I told you guys. You right. I told you guys. You got That's fucking smart. Savant in here. Let's go, baby. I knew it, bro. Wow. Yo, we're about to watch somebody whip out, whip, whip out a 70. Or some shit, like 62. All right, William. Oh, I feel so bad. It's probably William. Oh wow. Damn, maybe the glasses are maybe the glasses aren't a get up. Oh my God, oh, William, good on you, pal. Smart flash. Oh, that's that's very above average. Well, that's he's smart. And Chris. Okay. Wow, what the fuck? Oh my God, bro. <laughs> Yo, if I'm fucking Rashad, I'm I'm feeling insecure as shit right now. They all had above like fucking a hundred something. Dude, man. Everyone in there is smart. And what about beans? Beans, what do you got? Nah, I wanna know what beans IQ is. I hate this guy. Wow, guys. So clearly my scientific process was flawed to its core. A lot of smart guys out here. I'm not surprised. I expected everybody in here to be really intelligent. Thoughts? Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoyed this episode and want to see us guess the fake. All right. Yo, now that we're going to the next video, we have to take a pause here.